Yes, please, yes. Right. Well, Do I have uh, three questions which vary in size and nature as well. Mm-hmm. So, if Azul permits, then I'll start with the shortest mm-hmm. one, which is in my opinion shortest, the answer could be longest, I don't know. Everybody is under the influence of Bashir Sahib, I think, now, huh? Bashir Yad Sahib. That shadow is spreading all around. Yes, please. So the question is uh, that in Taskara there is one revelation of Hazrat Musihim which starts with numbers and ends with numbers only. There is no word in between at all. Right. I tried to find the explanation mm-hmm. of that particular revelation and mm-hmm. I could not. Could Hazur kindly explain the significance of I could not find the explanation either. You know that uh, the numbers in which you are referring to, they have been attempted by many an Anandi scholar before, but everyone has failed. In fact, these things cannot be solved by one's intelligence or superior knowledge. Whenever Allah so desires, He will reveal it to someone else, someone in particular when the time comes. And before that, all attempts would be futile in my opinion. Though out of interest and out of an effort, I mean desire to accept the challenge and put in some effort, people have been doing it before and people will continue to do it. And nobody knows that maybe someone who is really trying to solve it with some um, deep enthusiasm, who is also praying, Allah chooses him to solve this. So there is nothing against it, an attempt to solve it, but uh, it will only be, this will be solved only when the time has come and Allah has ultimately decided to do that. Whether he has already decided, we don't know, but I mean, when the decision is made apparent to everyone. There is a debate about uh, the word written on the side corner, Ilham, which was uh, mm, in question for a while. Some people thought the word was not Ilham. Uh, now the, the, uh, the word is Ilham and some people thought it was a, a key which uh, indicated that there is a hidden key and whoever has got the key would be able to solve it. So I had it investigated because those who thought the word was only ilham written in a manner it as it appeared to be a key to an unobserving eye but if you closely observe it you can find it it's a mm, style of writing ilham so when I had the original one ultimately studied the first book in which it was published so all scholars who examined it were of the opinion that the word is not ilham. It is indeed a key which is made. A crude key of course, but uh, a picture of a, crude, of a key. One uh, the young man from who is working in TA college, he has been working on it for quite some time. He is a laboratory assistant, but uh, he has devoted his whole life to this solution. So he has studied um, everything available to him and uh, also he has been writing to some friends who have been providing him things which have anything to do with numbers. The Greek system of numbers, the Chinese system of numbers, the old prehistoric systems preserved so far and the Greek system so he has made, a, he has made quite a thorough study. But as such, the book is not uh, worthy of publication. So I told him, when I was in Vakfajadid, he used to come and uh, I studied whatever he had written with quite some interest. But ultimately, he seems to be totally lost. He has collected the data, 
but to how to put things together as to make sense that he has not been able to do so if you want to have access to that data you can write to um, Rabwa and he could send you a copy yes. yeah. Zura, am I permitted to ask the second question? <coughs> yes please Zurbi, there is a school of thought and most of the people tend to believe in that that <coughs> The very famous known thing. <coughs> the very famous what? The very famous thing which is known, survival of the fittest. And people tend to believe and we do observe certain phenomena in which the, the one who is the fittest does survive. If we see on the religious scene or in the scenario is religious, it is just the reverse. It is the weakest who actually survives eventually. Although they do get the strength in some other sense, of which, which is actually partly the answer of my question, this spiritual strength. We have already solved it. Fact. But, but Azura, still I wanted the explanation that what connection does it have, that spiritual strength, with the physical... According to the Holy Quran, the same rule applies to both the spiritual world as well as the ordinary material world. Because I have been very often quoting the verse is the first verse of Surah Al-Mulk. Tabarakal Lazi wa Yadahil Mulku wa Hawa ala Kulli Shayn Qadir. Not the first and first two, three. Al Lazi Khalakal Mawta wal Hayata. Le Yablu wa Kum Ayyukum Ahsanu Amala. This is exactly the same statement in different words that. Uh, Allah has created the system of death and the system of life. I translate it as system, not just death and life, but all the concomitant, fact, concomitant factors. To find out who is, who deserves to survive better. Now, if you look at the principle of struggle for uh, survival of the fittest, this is exactly the translation of that. But the survival of the fittest is not by itself a rule or a law. It is dependent upon struggle for existence. So both go together. And the Holy Quran in this verse has mentioned both the factors. Struggle for existence has been mentioned in terms of life and death and the mutual effort to, to overcome each other. And no better picture could be painted for the struggle for existence than these words that we have created life and death and a struggle between them is, is creating that situation which we can call survival of the fittest and in other verses as well Allah Ta'ala has mentioned the same principle in different ways for instance the Holy Quran tells us Anzala min samai man فَسَالَتْ أَوْدِيَتُمْ بِقَدَرِهَا فَاحْتَمَلَ السَّيْلُ زَبَدَ الرَّابِيَا فَأَمَّا مَا يَنْفَعُ النَّاسَ فَيَمْكُثُ فِي الْعَرْضِ فَأَمَّا الزَّبَدُ يَزْهُبُ جُفَاءَ وَأَمَّا مَا يَنْفَعُ النَّاسَ فَيَمْكُثُ فِي الْعَرْضِ That Allah has sent water from the heavens which fills the valleys and then the same process carries some uh, um, uh, zabad would be froth, useless, you know, things which, which are carried by the flood, waste and froth and things carried on the surface of the flood. So it says it, it carries zabad, which is froth in fact. And uh, that goes waste, it doesn't uh, uh, come to any use. Amma ma yanfaun nasa, that which is uh, good for the people, which is uh, uh, which is for their benefit, yamkus of elars, it stays in the earth. Now, in fact, uh, in reality, all the new soil which is left by the floods is always the best for the earth, and is very, is very useful. And the fourth, which is on the top, it's meaningless. So survival of the fittest has again been described in a different way. Also, there are other verses.